Good afternoon, everyone. We are uh, thrilled uh, that Kevin is our new head coach, a strong leader, uh, innovator, collaborator, and uh, he's played and, and won at, the, at, the, at all levels, and uh, he's done great things, including at the Rams, tremendous part of that success. He's going to be a great partner to Kwesi, and uh, their collaboration together is, is uh, already beginning and very exciting to watch. But all in all, for, on behalf of uh, our family and our ownership, we are thrilled uh, that Kevin is going to be leading us and uh, building an organization, a culture that will have sustained success. So with that, we'll open up to some questions. When you first got the meeting, were you in on the meetings? And what did you see that sold him on you? Because he obviously isn't a former head coach. You had other candidates that were a coach. What did you see in him that made you felt he had the well, characteristics to be a head coach? Well, we cast a really wide net. We had a lot of uh, great coaching candidates out there. Uh, we did an initial Zoom interview with the entire family. was very impressed by him. And when we went out to L.A., uh, what Kwesi spoke about and the incredible collaboration, just, uh, just, just the presence, uh, the knowledge, the confidence, and the ability was clear. And uh, you could see the collaboration between Kwesi and him right off the bat. And just the energy, talking football, running through the plays. Uh, not sure we understood every single word of the football, but we knew uh, we, we know uh, uh, a great collaboration, a great feeling of partnership, and you could really sense it right away. Him being a former quarterback, offensive guy, what are your thoughts on what he'll bring out of Kirk that maybe others haven't been able to bring out? Well, what's interesting, of course, is that he worked with Kirk. Uh, for a year over in Washington, and he knows him, and it's a good start. And uh, I think he'll bring, like he said in the interview, he'll bring the best out of him, and and he'll boost that offense to another level. Uh, everyone's excited on, on both sides of the ball to, to have him here, and we are very excited to have him here too. When it comes to Kirk, Mark, I know that when we talked to you on January 10th, you said you don't think that this team is in a rebuild and you want to be competitive, and obviously the quarterback is a big part of that. With Kirk's contract situation the way that it is, does that kind of lead you in the direction of keeping him here in 2022 and then possibly beyond to remain competitive? Well, I'm not going to get into any of the details of contracts and, and, and that piece of it. Kwesi and, and uh, Kevin have spoken very extensively on it. I certainly do believe, and uh, even more so now that we've got our leadership here in place, that we are built to be successful right away. And uh, we feel very confident about that. And uh, like you heard before, uh, we're, we're going to work with Kirk as our quarterback, and uh, we'll, we'll move forward from there. But for 2022, for sure, we're going to be super, uh, super competitive. And, and, and like I said, sustained success is the goal, and I think we have it with this leadership. We certainly have the players to do it with. Once the decision was made to go with Kevin, what's it been like to see him on this journey with the Rams and, and the patience, but knowing that uh, the focus that you wanted him to have on finishing his season there, knowing that he would still come ready to do the job here. Well, it's great to be along his journey, uh, winning it. Um, and I saw in him the ability to come here and do the same thing here. So that that's what was very exciting to see him there, uh, and 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 and, over, and and come to that that final goal that we always been re been reaching. And I think with with the, with the group that we have here, we'll do that. You know, even even watching how he's uh, these past few weeks, as he spoke about, that the last month's been quite a ride. But the professionalism, how he balanced a lot of things going th going through all this, uh, just impressed even more. And of course, the success is, is obvious. As a owner, do you feel more knowledgeable about the NFL now when you make these changes as opposed to before? Because Obviously, this is a huge moment for the entire franchise. Well, for sure. I mean, this year we had the Zoom conferences before we had the actual interviews. And I tell you, uh, many of us in the comfort of our homes interviewing on Zoom and getting to know all the different coaches, many of them going to be head coaches sooner rather than later, uh, knowing where they came from, knowing about other organizations, knowing their styles. Certainly, it was an encyclopedia of, of, of current uh, understanding of, of, of football in the NFL. And it was so invaluable to us to be able to learn and to know about all these different franchises and what their schemes are and what they were. It, 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 it was unbelievable. And then to follow up with the interview process face-to-face -face was, was icing on the cake. I mean, in the past, 
we didn't have the Zoom. You know, we had uh, one or two interviews. Maybe in the early days, we rushed those. Uh, but this process was enlightening to us uh, um, and, and made us understand what a head coach has to be. And that's why uh, Kevin was our choice. And give a lot of credit to Quasi and our entire committee that worked on, on the coaching search. Uh, you know, thoroughly prepared and, and, and what quasi has been around and what he's learned from the different organizations he had has improved our knowledge as ownership. So we're fortunate if we have the right people that are leading this organization, that makes us look a lot better. So uh, we were very thorough in the process and on the coaching piece, uh, Quasi and the entire uh, committee were very thorough and uh, we feel good about the process. Deals aren't done until everything is signed. Were there any kind of stressful moments in the last week of like, boy, I, ho I hope he doesn't have a change of heart and we can get this thing done? Well, no, not whatsoever. Well, but you know, thank thankfully, uh, you know, until it's signed, it's signed, and now that it's signed, we're, we're, we're very, we're very grateful. What was the process like of putting together at least the first part of the coaching staff last week when he's getting ready for the Super Bowl and also kind of trying to help you guys informed on about who he wants? Well, well that was a, that was a big piece of the collaboration. I think Quasi and Rob Brzezinski and our entire uh, foot, football crew, uh, they, they knew the kind of coaches that uh, we would need to bring in here. And I think so far uh, we've, we've been really pleased with the coaches we've already put together. And we're, we're almost there. I know they're right, right at work even as we speak, uh, getting, getting to work on finishing the staff. So uh, they, they, they've collaborated really well even in this early stage. Brian Flores' lawsuit came out, I think it was the Tuesday while you were interviewing Pat Graham, and then Jim Harbaugh comes the next day. How did that affect things? Did it? And, and I know that obviously you have a head coach, but what 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 was the, I guess, the, the splitting factor with Jim Harbaugh being here and then not? Well, we, we, well there's a few things in there, but, but really um, we feel very proud of the fact that we're trying to build an equitable organization uh, from the first day of our ownership. And that, that, that element we feel very proud of, and that's how we've approached the process. So uh, that lawsuit, that news, uh, we need to be better as an NFL, as a, as a league, and uh, as prominent as we are, and, and to build with that. But we're very proud of the work we've done as an organization in that front, as well as the process we did now. Uh, you, you mentioned about the Coach Harbaugh? Uh, yeah, I know Kevin's name had come out as like a front runner after that. Obviously, nothing can be signed until, I guess it was th this week after the Super Bowl. but. Did things just fall through, or was there just a miscommunication between both sides when Coach Harbaugh came in here? No, not at all. We have tremendous respect for Coach Harbaugh, wonderful individual. My brother, myself, our whole family had wonderful uh, experience con conversing with him and a lot of respect for, for him. And uh, we just we cast a wide net, and uh, ultimately we wanted to have the coach that would be the best fit and, and, and best give us the best chance to win. And, and uh, we feel very pleased with Kevin as our, as our head coach. The guy you did hire just won a Super Bowl. So how excited are you guys to kind of had to add that experience to to the team? Like I said before, uh, we were rooting for Kevin all along because uh, we hope that his success <laughs> brings over here. So uh, we're very happy with Kevin and, and the entire staff to where we are right now. We're looking forward, like he is, to starting the football season off and running. We're all. We're all starting out even right now after the <laughs> Super Bowl, so we're all tied for first place. So uh, we're looking forward to uh, uh, winning our division and winning the conference and ultimately winning the Super Bowl. So like you said, one game at a time, that's going to be our motto. Last couple of guys. Have you talked to any of the players and how do they feel about this decision? Uh, we, we, we got input from players in terms of uh, different touch points. We, we got, we got in, input during the whole coaching process. And like I said, Quasi ran a very thorough process and all points to the organization on all our coaching candidates. Uh, we got a lot of information, backgrounds, how people work with the coaches, what they hear, what they feel. So, and the players were very much part of that. And uh, like I said, like Kevin said, uh, he's gonna be excited. And I know the players are excited to get to work with him. I spoke to them, many of them. They're very excited to get going. Uh, so uh, we, we are too. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.